Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Biking Roots. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Evan and I own Biking Roots Bike Shop here in Houston, Texas. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And thanks for all your comments. I apologize, I haven't been able to answer all your questions and comments. It has been pretty busy the last uh, couple months, as many of you know. We basically sold all of the bikes in our shop, uh, minus a few that we have left just for demo and rental. Uh, and we're not sure when we're gonna get more, uh, which kind of stinks, um, so yeah. Uh, yeah, so we've been super busy with service and just with phone calls and I'm trying to catch up but uh, and hopefully we can make more videos like this one uh, but that's why it's been a little while since uh, I posted a new video. Today we're talking about drivetrains again and this is the second video of our cheap drivetrains that aren't Shimano or SRAM that cost less than 150 bucks for the group set. So this last week was the sun race so we will go to that footage. All right, my week with the MicroShift Advent is over. And yeah, it was perfectly fine. I never had any misshifts. Uh, everything worked just as it was supposed to. So I don't have any complaints. So the Advent is the first of three different systems I'm gonna try. Uh, so this week, we're gonna go to the next system. I forgot to mention in the last video that for the derailleur, you have a medium and a long cage option i went with the medium cage just because i just i don't like uh grass and stuff gets stuck in a lot of the long cage ones so it said the medium cage could handle the 42 tooth which is why i went with the medium cage but if you're a long cage kind of guy you can get the long cage i went with the medium cage so talking about the advent uh one of you commented that uh, they've been using it on two bikes for over a year hadn't had any problems which is good to hear and they were coming from Shimano XT, so nice to hear. For such an inexpensive drivetrain, that's basically like $135. So why is this $135 and why is a SRAM uh, X01 like $1,100? Well, a lot of it comes down to weight. Uh, when you get into the high-end SRAM cassettes like this X01 or XX1, uh, this piece of metal right here is one piece, so there's no rivets, which is pretty cool. Uh, it shifts very smoothly, and it's uh, it's definitely a nice uh, nice cassette. I'm not knocking it at all. It's it's actually really cool, but it's very expensive. If you need something that's less expensive and you don't mind the weight, we're gonna weigh the Advent. Uh, I didn't weigh it on the last video, but we're gonna weigh it today uh, to see how much we're looking at with weight and in comparison to some of these other systems. Yeah, so the X01, so this weighs like 357 grams just for the cassette. We're gonna weigh the Advent just to see. Obviously, this is not a uh, direct comparison. However, I wanna see how much the Advent weighs in comparison to the Sunrace that we're gonna test and also the box components. All right, so this week we are going to install the Sunrace M9 system. This is also a nine speed system. Uh, it has a bigger outer cog. This is a 46 tooth in comparison to the Advent's 42 tooth. So you have a little bit more range, a little bit bigger plate on there. As you can see, it's not as big as a 50 tooth, but it is pretty large. So we're going to weigh this as well, see how much it weighs, and install the M9 derailleur. This is their, uh, I believe it's new, um, Sunrace M9 9 speed and it has a clutch or as they call a stabilizer So we'll get this installed uh, We have their shifter which uh, it's very inexpensive So I don't know how well it's going to perform at least compared to the advent also going to install I forgot to mention so I've been using a KMC X9 chain That's what I used on the advent and we're going to use a new chain even though this one's fine I want to give the new system a new chain when I install it so let's get the Sun race installed on the iron horse and start riding it all right let's weigh the micro shift advents so this is their 9 speed 42 tooth alloy outer cog we're at 441 grams all right and now the Sun race 46 tooth so a little bit bigger cog we are at 463 grams. All right, and now the MicroShift Advent. This is their medium cage derailleur. We are at 385 grams. And the Sunrace M9 derailleur, 
265 grams. Okay, it's a pretty good difference there. If you look at the two derailleurs, why is there a weight difference? Uh, it looks like the M9 has more plastic on the top, and it looks like the Advent has definitely more metal going on. It definitely feels heavier, uh, but it looks solidly built. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes in the out on the trails. One of the differences of the two uh, that I, one thing I like about the M9 just uh, right off the bat is. Uh, you can use a uh, Allen key to adjust the high and the low, uh, which is nice. Uh, a lot of the higher end derailers have that. And the Advent, you just have little Phillips or flathead, which they're fine. I just, I prefer Allen key if you can. The uh, cogs are also a lot bigger on the Sunrace. Um, don't know if there's bearings in there or not. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure on this system. I believe there's bearings in here. So we'll see, that could be a weight difference as well if this isn't using bearings, but we'll have to see. All right, now for the shifter. This is the Advent shifter. We are at 130 grams. This one does have the uh, ball bearing. Here's the Sunray shifter. Uh, it does feel lighter, but also cheaper. Uh, 147 grams. And this is the KMC X9 chain. Uh, this is uncut, so I'm gonna have to cut it down. Uh, once I get it put on, but we're at 290 grams. And then next week we will open the Box Prime 4 and we'll weigh everything and see how it goes. This one actually comes with a chain, so we'll see how that compares as well. So that's in the next video when we test the Box 4. All right, installation is done on the Sunrace M9 and we have everything good to go and adjusted. It, uh, yeah, this chain is definitely stretched out pretty good on this one. I don't even have it in the biggest ring, but it's uh, it's getting there. Um, to make it around this 46 tooth 9-speed. I don't think they anticipate a 9-speed chain going on such a large cog. Uh, but that's what we got. Uh, this is a really stiff derailleur. Like, even putting it on, uh, turning the stabilizer, ugh, turning it on and off, it's, eh. It works okay. Feels kind of, anyway when it's off and when it's on it's very similar it's pretty stiff even when it's off just getting the wheel on was uh yeah a little bit different than what i'm used to when a clutch is off so we're good to go uh we'll see how it performs out on the trail Good job. You hit the berm. You hit the berm? Yeah. Uh oh, we're missing a boy. There we go. Whee! All right, guys. Over here at Timber Lane, was riding with the family at the beginning, uh, following behind the youngest boy. I was able to work my low speed gears and my uh, practice my braking as he uh, brake checks a lot. All right, so here, back here at Timber Lane, uh, same place I came with the uh, Micro Shift Advent. It's pretty hot today. It's hot in Houston today. All right, let's talk about the Sunrace M9. Uh, okay, so not too bad. It's uh, It's been shifting okay. Uh, haven't had really any issues with it skipping or I mean I, I adjusted it before we came so it was okay the big thing and I don't know if it's because the derailleur is so stiff but the big issue I'm having though is with this shifter there's this dead area and I've adjusted it taking the slack out of the cable but it just it just has this dead area before you have to push to go to the next gear and um, yeah that's it's just a inexpensive shifter that's all you can really say. I wish it was a trigger. I missed that on the micro shift. This is a push button to go up in gears. To go down, you push with your thumb. To go up to your big gears, you really have to push because you have that dead area and then you're pushing on the cable. If it had a bearing like the micro shift, it would be much easier, but no bearing, so you're pushing. And so anyway, it just, it changes experience. Does it work? Yes. Is it as nice as the micro shift? No. 
Uh, so yeah, difference, yes, you have the bigger 46 tooth uh, ring back here with the Sunray system. Uh, haven't really needed it so far. I'm gonna do the uh, uphill climb over here and see how it does, but uh, yeah, so far, not bad. I mean, it works, uh, but yeah, it's definitely different experience than the Advent system, than the Micro Shift. Uh, so far, I'm leaning towards the, the Advent, and primarily, it just feels better. The other thing I don't like is when I'm in the lowest gear, it still acts like it wants to push, even though I adjusted the limit screw. There's still flex in there, which I don't care for. All right, go, go, go. All right, finished out my ride over at Timberlane, and uh, the sun rays performed fine. It was reliable, didn't have any issues. Uh, I think if maybe the system was a lot less expensive, then maybe I would consider it, but it's not. And so uh, for now, it's uh yeah it's the advent all right guys well that's going to effectively end today's video on cheap drivetrains for less than 150 dollars uh, next week we are going to talk about this guy the box uh, prime 9 8 speed so we're going to talk about that one and how it performed out on the trail it was filmed a few weeks ago but we're going to wrap it up and also which one is our favorite out of the three so thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, we would appreciate it. And uh, leave any comments or questions below, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye. You see him? Another deer? Yeah, deer. Where? Oh, yeah. Another one.